I have been involved with Oranga Tamariki through my moko and in 2016-17 they become involved with my moko and it was just a, an investigation, nothing else and then as a whānau we went in and and um, took our, our moko and then got a phone call from Oranga Tamariki to return them. So that happened about three times. And we says that as a whānau, we just want our moko to be put in a safe place, just until mum gets things sorted, and, um, and until dad gets something sorted and that. And then they said, well, you know, um, you know that we don't have any problems and that. And, because she's still the guardian. So, you know, and, and so we complied to them. I wish they had advised us that we could have done what we else we could have done. And within about six months, Oranga Tamariki had stepped in and placed my moko into care, which if they had just allowed our whānau to do it, there would have been no need for them to be involved because we could have sorted it. We had the, the means and the ability to sort it ourselves. And then it just went all downhill from there. And we were disempowered. We were segregated. Both whanos were segregated and um, then they brought in, which is key to pie, if, if there was a need for it. I would have totally agreed, but there was no need. And on the mum's side, who's my daughter-in-law, they had brought Fano down from up north that, that my mukos didn't know. And we were ready to put my mukos into their care. When we have an amazing Fano here to look after them. And during that time, there was all this um, games of playing Fano against Fano. So, they would visit us and go back to the maternal whānau and say, oh, they're accusing you of this and they're accusing you of that, and we weren't. So there was more segregation. And we were actually a really close whānau, and then all of a sudden, through Oranga Tamariki's input, we stopped talking. And um, anyway, the outcome was that my oldest son ended up with their children in his care for two years. Well, mum and dad got their stuff together and um, it took a good 18 months to come to that conclusion when I really felt that as a father we could have done it in one go within about a month without this big upheaval with our mokos. And because our mokos were the ones that suffered and then they were saying things like, I'm a good girl now, I can go home and stuff like that. Sorry, yeah. So, um, yeah, so it took now three years, and my mokos are, have um, anxiety. They have um, separation issues. They have abandonment issues. And um, yeah, they're, they're carrying the weight of this. And, because Oranga Tamariki wouldn't allow mum to see them for nearly four months. Dad's not even allowed to see them at all, unless he has someone supervised. And these children love their parents. Thank the Lord they're back with mum now. Mum done all the work she needed, and with all of us coming together, we actually broke away from Oranga Tamariki and came together as a whānau, when we actually realised what was happening. We stopped the, excuse the word, bullshit, and united as a whānau, went into family group conference and fronted Oranga Tamariki and told them they had to step down. They're not getting life, they're not getting home for life of our moko, of our tamariki, we've come together as a whānau, and we've agreed that my son have our mokos until mum and dad get their stuff together, and that was, yeah, but it's horrendous, especially for my moko. Yeah.